Brad Kemperer. I'm Carson Hay. I'm Nicholas Altamirano. I'm Sam Whitaker. Um, so a quick overview of our project is there's an NFL helmet challenge um, being promoted to help reduce uh, concussions and CTE symptoms by having researchers and professors create new helmet technologies, um, inserts, and other things like that. Um, we've been tasked with modifying a NFL gravity drop test rig to test the helmets themselves. So we won't actually be working on the helmets, we'll be working on the rig that is designed to test them. Different, the NFL has their own standardized testing like protocol, protocol. Yeah. that they use for all the helmets. But this is just for them to test their own materials and them to kind of alter things that they see fit. Yeah, their whole idea is we want to replicate the exact tests that they're gonna put when, when they go to like competition, right? And they mm -hmm. take their helmet design to the NFL. They wanna know that it's already gonna withstand those tests. Well, so this rig is already built, uh, but it cannot meet the NFL standards of testing, right? So our job is to make this rig that's already built meet those standards. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this, you know, this pneumatic application we keep talking about is to accelerate the rig to meet the speeds that the NFL calls for. The yes. rig is currently gravity based. So when you lift it up to its maximum height and drop it, it only reaches 6.2 meters per second. Yep. Whereas for the NFL, we need it to reach 9.3. Um, so we're just finding a way to make it go faster. faster. So the NFL has its own testing setup where it's um, it's a rig that accelerates a mannequin head with a helmet on it into a, like a, an anvil. Um, and so basically they built their own to get as close as possible to those testing standards as, pop, as they can uh, before actually going to the competition to test the helmets. Yeah. Um, however, it has its limitations. Um, we have to be able to strike the helmet in six different positions, each at three different speeds. Mm -hmm. um, so 18 total tests, and that's what we're tasked with doing. We're increasing the velocity and being able to adjust the mannequin head to the different angles. <laughs> the, the testing rig right now has different materials that you can impact onto, and it's meant to you know mimic Mm -hmm. Helmet to helmet, or like helmet to pads, or, or helmet to like ground. To ground. Yeah. No, I, I do think the biggest reason we chose the project because, like, at least three out of the four of us really enjoy like sports and stuff like that. And so, like, we're very kind of knowledgeable about the NFL. And so, it's pretty cool to kind of play a part in something that can actually help these players and prevent the concussions in the future. Yeah. Um, a lot of the other projects we couldn't relate to at all. They were by bigger companies, um, and they were about very specific things. Whereas this one was definitely a broader project mm -hmm. where we could see the impact it was having immediately once we'd finished. Yeah, pretty open to kind yeah, of like, yeah. this is the end result that you have to get to, kind of like explore all your options and do what you want to do to yeah. get there. And, and as we've gotten into it, it's been a lot of cool stuff we've kind of gotten to work on or like mm -hmm. kind of look at like elastics and pneumatics and different stuff like that, so. Mm -hmm. so. For the brainstorming process, we sat down as a group and we essentially did a big mind map and walked through all the different possibilities of how we could accelerate the rig and what were the pros and cons of each. Uh, so here's one of the preliminary mind maps we made that just walked through some of the different acceleration modes we were thinking of using. Uh, so we just walked through and looked at elastics, compressed air, electromagnets, and then motors, and laid out the pros, cons, and some of the background information about each of them. Um, and then just talked as a team and decided which ones we wanted to go forward with. We had an initial thought of what we were going to do. Yeah. Once we started doing the mind mapping, it actually changed to the pneumatics. So yeah. um, additionally, we did 635, which is where everyone takes time to write down some of their ideas in silent, and then you pass the ideas around and just build on them as you go. And we found that to be really helpful. So how we did that, we printed off this kind of like general CAD design of our, uh, our rig and then kind of drew on it, added notes, and passed it around without kind of verbally talking about it. So the good part about that is like, no, nobody's ideas get shot down or nobody like takes power. It's kind of a very collaborative process. And then after everyone has had their time to like write down and draw their ideas, then you discuss it and kind of yeah. see the pros and cons. Because it took us a while to actually even, you know, visualize this, because this rig isn't at UT, it's somewhere else and it has pretty limited access. So it took us a while to even like, purely visualize what we were doing and even then talking with the guy that built the rig and really understanding you know what he wanted to do is kind of like picking his brain a little bit um, even you know through just talking with people even then you know it was really effective like brainstorming I felt like or yeah. like concept generation.
Um, so I'd say that, that the other day we did physics, dynamics, like energy equations, like the most basic classes are intro to mechanical class. Um, it's been a big one with um, solid practice, yeah. drawings, yeah. dimensioning. That's been a lot really helpful, as well as our um, first semester of senior design our J course um, that kind of gave us some good concept generation tools, mm -hmm. as well as kind of the methodology to kind of go through a whole design process and change stuff. We actually had a much recent meeting right before this. Um, yeah. We met with our faculty advisor and discussed kind of some. Things we've done and some progress we've made, um, which is doing the pneumatic calculations and doing some CAD design. Um, we're definitely like still at concept generation stage. Yeah. Um, so we're still coming up with different designs and different ways that can improve um, the rig. Um, and then the next step will be sourcing parts, um, proof of concept, and then hopefully ordering those parts to have them um, attached yeah. to the rig. Yeah. We're definitely in the like calculation CAD phase of our of our concepts. I think I think consistency, right. um, because there are there are some factors and some variables that are going to affect this pneumatic system we're trying to trying to put together. Uh, you know, moisture, temperature of the day, and things like that. And so our advisor, uh, Dr. Seeprasad, has really stressed consistency as a big deal you know, and accuracy, making sure we get exactly to the. 9.2 meters per second that we need and so I think consistently hitting the three required velocities is probably going to be the, the, the toughest aspect. Of this. Yeah so I think what, how that would play out is um, we're going to have our calculations and that's in a perfect scenario. That's with no bleed off, that's with no pressure loss in the cylinder. Um, no so the, yeah and mm -hmm. like and these things can change on like a cylinder to cylinder basis like this. Um, so kind of the dialing it in stage will be once we get it built or once they get it built um, kind of seeing what those losses are, accounting for that, adjusting for PSI, making sure valves and all the fittings and tubing is nice and tight. Um, yeah. But once it's in, yeah. it should be very consistent and repeatable. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of why we're going down the pneumatic path.